Hi everyone, today I am making a card using the Artfully Layered Stamp Set and the, um, what is the name of this one? Tropical Layers Dies. This is from the January to June mini catalog and they're actually carrying over into the new annual catalog so we've got a lot more time to play with these but what is not carrying over is the fun paper that matches them that's in the January to June catalog. So if you want to get the matching paper, you need to grab that in the next um, couple weeks because then it'll be gone. And it is actually really cute. I have I bought it when it first came out and just never really got around to it because there's so many stamps and so little time, you know. <laughs> and so I was finally looking at it and it's actually really fun because these little things, these little images here are actually, they look like the, the way they've photoshopped them or, or photographed them is they have a drop shadow in them and so it looks like they're actually cut out pieces of paper maybe they are and um, then photographed and arranged so they look like they're layered which is why it's called artfully layered so you've got this small drop shadow so it's like someone created a scrapbook page and photoshopped it or something <laughs> so so you've got these layers of paper and they look like layers of paper because you've got just a little shadow and they, they look cut out like die cuts and hand cut and it's just really fun so one side has that kind of a look to it and then the back sides have patterns and they're all like that so this one is the same idea same kind of looks like it's cut out and then layered on top of each other it's just got a little shadow I, hope, I don't know if that shows up well on um, the video but it's really a fun paper I really like it so here's another one. this one's bigger Anyway, I wanted to show you the paper because the paper will be going away um, at the end of the June catalog and it starts to be on as supplies last once it hits June. So I don't, it's not on the low inventory list yet, so it, it'll probably last through June, but just in case. Oh, and this one, uh, um, someone else showed that you can actually stamp on top. Uh, oops, where's that stamp? Here it is. Like this stamp actually fits on top of this image and you can kind of give it an outline. Kind of fun. Um, and you can even cut out some of these with the dies. Where did the dies go? So you've got a lot of little options for this one. So I think you can cut out that one. See? And these will cut out. That one will cut out as will that one. And the dark one cuts out as well. So see, so you can you can cut out your leaves with the dies. I mean, they're great without the paper. They're really fun, but that paper is also super fun. So um, maybe grab another. I'm gonna grab another pack before it goes away. And if you don't have any of this yet, grab it in June while you can get that paper. Okay, so here's my card, and I'm gonna change up the one we do together so that it's a little different. I might use this um, on my display or maybe at a card class or something. So I want to have a couple different options for sentiments. So I cut a background piece out of this one. It was hard to to use the non-cute side. I mean, this is a nice pattern. It really is. It's evening evergreen, really basic pattern. So it's great for a background, and I love the color. I'm putting it on mint macaron. That's the nice thing about Stampin' Up's paper is they tell you all the colors that are used on the back so you kind of have an idea of what colors to mix and match. So I'm using Mint Macaron and this is Evening Evergreen and I'm going to just put that right down. This is a fast card. Okay, and it's got a little bit of an edge around it. So my card base is um, five and a half by eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. So then this is four by five and a quarter. And then I've cut these strips at two inches, and this one is at four, and this one is at five and a quarter. So I'm gonna just layer them down like this, and just kind of cross over them, and you can decide you want this one on top, that one on top. And this is my favorite of all the papers, so I wanted to use that one. I love that, what is that called? Bird of Paradise flower? And it's just really a fun idea. And then the backgrounds, again, are really great. Um, so if you run out of cards you wanna use these bold leaves for, these background papers are really terrific. So I'm just putting these down. I'm putting this one about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then this one is going to go down across it 
about not at the halfway, a little a little bit lower than halfway. I'd say it's about an inch from the bottom, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now I've already cut some of these pieces that were from the die collection. And I cut this one is mint macaron to match the background. And then this one is evening evergreen. It gets a little lost in here. I might have thought about doing that one in old olive, but it's done. And I think it looks pretty. So to stick these down, you can kind of make yourself nuts and try to glue on all these little pieces. But what I do is I know that I'm going to hide the center here. So I'm going to just go ahead and put some adhesive down. And then I'm just going to lay this sprig and put it down. And then I can add a little more adhesive and lay this sprig down. Now the next one we're going to stamp. So I'm going to grab a piece of basic white. And this, what is this, a monstera leaf? I don't know how to pronounce that, so someone tell me how wrong I am. And I'm going to stamp that in evening evergreen. Okay, and then, let me clean that real quick. So now I'm going to make sure that's dry because my um, evening evergreen pad is very juicy. I think it is. Okay, I'm going to color it with my Stampin' Blends. I might just use the lighter one. Let's see. And I'm casting a large shadow on my paper. I'm really sorry about that. It's been dark here with rain and I decided to not wait out the rain any longer and just go ahead and make the video. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. I need to get some better lighting. So I'm kind of being a little careful not to go over the evening evergreen, but I think it's pretty dry. It's not really smearing. I went in the line there a little bit. Okay, so there is my big flower, and then I kind of am toying with an idea that I didn't do on my sample, but I'm going to do it on this one just because I want to try it. And I'm going to grab, is it, gray granite, and I'm just going to add a shadow. You know how I was talking about how this has a drop shadow so you can tell that it's a cut piece, layered? I'm going to add a pretend drop shadow on here, so I'm just going to kind of add a little shadow in the holes, just for fun. And I'm kind of pretending that the light source is coming this way, so the shadow is on that side, on all of them, and I think that's kind of fun. So anyway, I'm going to leave that. A little detail, maybe will be noticed, maybe it won't. I think it's actually kind of successful. I like that. Tell me if you can tell what I did. <laughs> Here's the non-shadowed one. Okay. I cut that out. What did I do with my mini cutter? It was hiding.
Okay, and again, this one is going to just get layered down. I'm not sure if there's enough adhesive. Let's put some on the back. <laughs> and then we're going to layer that down like so. Okay, and now my sentiment is just going to go across. So I need a strip of basic white. I'm going to grab a little scrap from my scrap pile here. And this time I want to stamp a different sentiment. So I'm going to use this one that says sending all the hugs. I love that. I think that's really cute and I haven't used it yet. So I want to use this one, sending all the hugs. And on this one, I did my sentiment in mint macaron. And I like that because I'm bringing in some of the mint from the background, but I kind of wish it was a little darker. So I think I'm going to do um, evening evergreen on this one, just so I can see which one I like better if I decide to do this at um, Stamp Camp. All right, so I'm gonna do it biased towards the right side. And sorry if my head gets in the way here. <laughs> Make sure I'm straight. Okay, super cute. And then I need to cut it at four inches. Now this piece looks like about an inch and a half, is it? Oh, it's even more than that. Oh, inch and a half. I might trim it down. Let's see. So let me cut it to four. I just grabbed a scrap from my scrap pile. And I want to see if maybe I can make it just a hair thinner. If I can get it to an inch and a quarter, that might be nice. So let's see. If I put it in here, can I trim some off? I love to use my scraps, so I... um sometimes just grab a strap that's, scrap that's in front, in front of me. I don't think I can get it to an inch and a quarter. Let's see. Uh, inch and a quarter is pushing it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and leave it. Let's do just leave it there. So this is an inch and three eighths. So just shy of an inch and a half. I might have been able to cut a little more off of there. But I just want to make sure that it's under two inches is my big thing because I want to see this coral color. So I want to get as much coral color as I can, but I think that's good. Inch and a half would have been fine too. That's good. All right, so now I need to cover up some of this here. All the leaves were really big, so I didn't want to put this on top because it would have really covered too much of the words. <laughs> Unless I had used, used maybe the thanks, that one's smaller. Where's that stamp set again? So, hey there, it's cute too. All very cute. Um, but I wanted to put something here, so I'm going to tie a ribbon. Now, you can always cut this, but I think that... Having these things tucked underneath is kind of cute. I really like the way that shadow turned out. That's cute. I'm covering too much of it up, maybe. I kind of want to make it higher. I don't know if I can at this point. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to tie a ribbon around here. And on my sample, I used some Baker's Twine. And this is from a pack called, um, it's from that game day pack. It's got... Um, for the wind that came with three different color Baker's Twines. And so I'm going to show this as an option, but then I'm also going to bring this to camp if I do this card. I'm not, haven't decided yet. Um, I like that it's a little thicker. So I thought since this sentiment is a little bigger, maybe a thicker ribbon would be better. So let's see if I like this one. I think there's a good ribbon on the clearance rack too. It's mossy meadow, so it's not quite the right color, but I'll, it'll totally go. And it's kind of like a braided linen. That's on the clearance rack. It's always good to check the clearance rack for um, fun embellishments. I think there's some real cute ladybugs on there too. I'm not a good bow tire. Just not. It's not my thing. <laughs> so. And people always try to say, you've got to do this, pull this, do that, tuck this under, use the bow holder, use a fork. It, none of it's good for me. <laughs> so I don't even try anymore to use all the little gadgets. I just do my best. Okay, 
sometimes I have to stick a little glue dot to make it stay where I want. Yeah, that's cute. All right, so now I want to pop this up on dimensionals. I've got a lot going on, on this side, so I'm not going to put a dimensional on this side. I'm going to put a dimensional on this side only. So I'll put maybe two. And then on this side, I'm going to stick some of this adhesive. There, super cute, right? And then on the inside, I'm going to use just a piece of basic white. And then I'll stick that down. I might maybe put, hmm, maybe let's put one of these little leaves down. I've got this one out from an earlier project, so maybe I'll have that kind of coming off the side. So let's see, I've got some mint. Let's try that. going to have it kind of coming off the side like that and maybe a little off the top there just a little something to jazz up the inside that would be fun on the envelope too I like to stamp on my envelopes probably everybody does right we're stampers that's what we do so that would be a cute thing to put on the envelope There you go. That was fast. Oh, a couple of little things I wanted to add as an embellishment. I wanted to add some bling to it. And um, there's all kinds of nice little rhinestones and things. Just a little shine, something with sparkle. I happen to have, these are retired. They're um, the in color rhinestones. And now they have them in there called in color opal rounds. They're very similar. And I'm just going to grab the evening evergreen. So look, but any of the, and I'm going to use, this one is, um, soft succulent which is not the right green but it's got that iridescent glowiness to it and it's actually picking up all the colors around it because it's an iridescent um, rhinestone so you can even use just the iridescent rhinestones but I thought I would use these since I have them and I'm just picking up a couple of couple of the lighter green and a darker green just to give a little sparkle in the light it'll catch the light all right, I love that shadow. <laughs> I'm the only one that maybe will notice it. Here, I'm going to put them close by each other. Tell me if you can see them. Maybe I'll put the light. Can you see the shadow? I think it's cute. It really highlights that, that little cutout from that leaf. Anyway, it's fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. That was a fast one. I hope you'll take a look at this paper before it goes. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be yours. I send thank you cards, and I have a frequent buyer rewards program and all that stuff on my blog, bestpapercuts.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.